Hello, it's dead. Hello, teacher. How are you, Esther? I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm not bad. I'm, I'm happy that um, we're finishing off the, the week. Uh, just uh, one more day for the weekend. And so I'm really excited about that. Yeah. How about you? How, how, um, how do you feel this day? I feel good. I'm, I feel relaxed. Good. That's important. It's very important to feel relaxed because um, if you don't feel relaxed, then, um, you know, everything, even, even your health is, uh, you know, suffers. You know, if you, you can even, you know, have different medical problems. So that's important to be, to be relaxed. Yeah. Yes, we are ready. How, how was your day today? Was it a, a easy day, a difficult day, relax? It was relaxing or was it very tough? No, so relaxed. Okay, good. Good. Uh, do, do you work as it or what, do you or do you study or something like that? I work and I study. Good, good, good. Excellent. And, and where, where do you work? in a uh, supermarket. Ah, yes, I think you told me last time. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, but but a supermarket is usually um, a very fast-paced um, place to work. Yeah. Is that, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not very stressing? No. Or better said, maybe, maybe because today is not a payday, right? So people don't have very much money. They don't buy very many things. I don't feel the time in the work. I'm sure, yeah. But is it, do you, do you have to be standing all the time? No, I'm in, in move. Oh, you're moving. Okay, okay, good, yeah. That's better because if you have to be standing like eight hours, wow, that's very difficult. That's good. It's good that you are able to to move here and there. Good, excellent. Okay, well, welcome, uh, Juan Carlos and Glenda, Nancy and Roxana. How are you all? I'm fine, teacher. And you? How are you? I'm good. I can't complain. I'm glad, teacher. Good evening, teacher. I'm Good fine. Evening, How thank are you? you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Thank you. And um, let me see, Roxana. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? How are you today? Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm happy. Relax. I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about Juan Carlos? How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, fine. I'm glad to hear that, Juan Carlos. Okay, let me say hi to Sarai and Erlinda and Flor. How are you, girls? Hi, teacher. Not bad, and you? Hi. I'm fine. What about you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, thanks for asking. Yeah. I'm fine, teacher. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready to listen to these wonderful uh, <laughs> recipes? <laughs> what Carlos like shaking is a no. <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. You are. You. Are, I know you are so well prepared. Don't worry about it. The idea here is um, just to have fun. You know. I mean, I'm. Think of it as just like a free practice, right? Because, um, you know, this is not even. 
I mean, this is really not evaluated in the sense that it goes towards a grade, but it is helping you to practice. So just have fun, you know, and, and I think we're going to have fun listening to all these different uh, recipes. I just hope that you have eaten because if you haven't eaten, you're going to get very hungry. <laughs> all right. So or you're going to start eating during during the class. I don't know. <laughs> OK. All right. Well, class. Um, all right. So let's do it like this um let me see um okay i'm going i'm going to um the way that we're going to work this is well first of all um before i continue um let me uh, let me go oh, let me go over the vocabulary that you're going to be needing uh, making sure everybody remembers the vocabulary uh, because yes we're gonna need to use the correct vocabulary okay um, let me know when you can see the word document if at some point I think I did it right yeah okay yes yes teacher, teacher. I think Okay, good. Okay, excellent. Um, so I hope you all have um, made the necessary investigation there uh, to um, to use the vocabulary that you need, right? But just remember, remember that um, what the idea here is um, to be able to practice the uh, the adverbs that give us a um, sequence of events, right? So. Um, a moment. Okay, so this is used, like I said, for sequence of events. And when I'm talking about sequence of events, um, it could, you, you can even use this to talk about um, like a story, you know, what happened in a story. The idea is that we have events or things that follow one after the other. And to be able to, to do that, we use condensers, right? We have to say what the steps are, step one, step two, step three, et cetera, et cetera. But in order to do that, we have to be able to use vocabulary that is going to help us to um, be able to connect to the ideas and to show us in what order is the correct order, let's say, okay? So um, can somebody remind me what is the word that we use to begin? First. Yes, first. Okay, good. So the first word we use, like this in Spanish, valga la redundancia, is um, is first, right? Okay, the first word we use is first. Okay, and like I said, that is used at the beginning of the the sequence right to show you that that's the first step right um okay then we have after that we use then next then after that next 
after that, and finally. Good, okay, so those are the words that we have learned that we can use to describe uh, a, um, a series of events that happen, right? Now, like we were mentioning before, um, it's important that we start always with first and we finish with the word, we finish with, um, with finally, okay? So finally, it shows us that it's the last e e event of the sequence, okay? Now, um, I told you that, I told you yesterday that it's, um, that it's possible to do um, a sequ like we can use then, next, and after in any order. It doesn't have to be first you use then, then you use next, and then after that you use after that. No, it's not like that. It's basically, um, you can, those three, then, next, and after that, they are all interchangeable. So they are like, let's say they are synonyms, right? So you can use next first, and then we can use after that in the second position, and after, and then we can use in the fourth position, etc., etc. So it doesn't really matter. Now, what I do want you to um, to to remember that when you are making, for example, um, recipes, you have to use the base form of the verb. And the reason is because you're giving instructions. And for instructions, we use the imperative form. So we're going to say, for example, first add blah, 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 whatever it is that you have to add. Okay. And then, then mix blah, 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 okay. Um, next, um, we can say add, no, let's say, no, we already used add. Let's say next, um, we can say, um, oh. let me think of something very good. Um, poor, oh, this is a good word. We haven't talked about poor. Okay, not poor, poor. Anybody know what poor is? Nobody knows what poor is? I don't know. Mm, kind of. Yeah, kind of the idea, but not exactly derramar. Verter. Verter. Uh -huh. Very good. Verter. Excellent. Um, and then after that, we can say um, uh, bake. Okay, bake is put in the oven. Okay. And finally, we can say serve. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So some of the vocabulary, like I said before, make sure the verb is in the base form. It's not going to be in the past. It's not going to be in the pre in the present. And I, what I mean by present, because you're not what you're doing with this is not um, you're not using. Uh, you're not going to say, for example, mixes, right? Or or for example, add adds, right? No, we don't we don't say any of that. Okay, it has to be in the base form of the verb. Okay, and then after that, you can use um, the complement, right? And the complement in the complement, we discuss some of the vocabulary that um, is possible to use. Question, um, anybody have any uh, vocabulary words that you would like to know that you couldn't find and you would like to use? Not this year. Great. In that case, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to stop sharing to begin with. Okay. And I, I hope, well, we have many people here. Not everybody, unfortunately, um, but we have many people here. Um, all right. 
So, um, just give me a second. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to choose the order in which we're going to be passing, uh, but we're going to do it randomly. Okay. Um, we're going to do randomly so that you are, you, it's easier for you to, because I know, I know everybody's going to want to be first, right? So I know everybody's going to be going, me, me, teacher, I want to be first. <laughs> so, um, so before, before we, um, before we, we get into trouble where everybody wants to pass first, I'm going to, um, do it for the wheel picker. Okay. So. I'm going to have here, I'm going to put the name in my wheel picker, my random wheel picker. I'm going to put the name of everybody in the class. Um, okay, so we have Juan Carlos, Nancy, Flor, and Roxana. This is not the order you're going to be passed in, don't worry. Uh, Veronica. Um, let's see who else. Glenda. And um, Sarai. And Josavet. and Esther and Evelinda and Jenny okay I think I have everybody so far okay okay perfect so I'm going to um, I'm going to spin right now okay and so that everybody And our lucky winner is Erlinda. Okay, so Erlinda, you are our lucky yeah. winner. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to explain the recite to my cupcakes. Okay. Um, Erlinda, um, just before you begin, letting you know that it is, like I told you in the, in the, in the WhatsApp group, it is possible to um, show picture so if you want to share a picture you can go ahead and share the picture um, during the presentation if you don't have a picture that's okay too right so I'm just telling you ahead of time okay I don't have, right, a, picture. I don't have a picture okay that's I fine. okay um can um do I have to mention the ingredients Yes, because otherwise we won't be able to, to, to make okay. it. If we don't know that what okay. the ingredients are, we won't be able to make it. Remember, this is also for us to have more ingredients, or sorry, more recipes. Oh, by the way, class, the word is recipes. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Wait. Okay. Um. Just to, to let you know that I don't know uh, cooking, so I have to look the recipe in the internet, but I really don't know how oh, it's to do okay. it. <laughs> you, you, don't worry, you don't, you're not going to cook for us, so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, how to do uh, cupcakes? Okay, the ingredients, the first one is um, a box of a box of red cake mix. I really. Um, the other one is um. To use like uh, the middle of a cup of milk, and for eggs, um, one teaspoon of ba vanilla. Vanilla, I believe. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. Vanilla. Yeah. Uh, a cup of mini chocolate chips and. Oil, 
spoon one spoon of oil yes and okay the instruction is uh first <laughs> first be your be the x in a separable bowl uh, in the second step is uh all ingredients mix all the ingredients into into a bowl and the first step well the next step is uh to mix all the ingredients for about 13 no 30 seconds 30 seconds and the fourth step or the or the next step is uh scoop two tablespoons of butter into individual individual uh, like cupcake pin like um the moldes i don't know and the in the the last step uh to make the cupcakes is uh is to bake at um 350 for 16 to 18 minutes that is that is the recite to make the cupcakes Okay, that is the what? What did what did you say, Linda? That is the. Ah, oh, sorry. That is the the recite receipt. I I forgot. <laughs> it's okay. Recipe. Recipe. Oh, okay. Thank you. That is the recipe. Just make uh just the bread of the cupcake because I really don't know how to do the cream of the cupcake. Okay, very good. All right, excellent, bravo, very good. <laughs> excellent. Let's give her some uh, applause of reactions there. Very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, so um, some of the vocabulary that she was using there that could be also helpful for you is the word vanilla okay so it's vanilla um, and remember the pronunciation is recipe okay recipe not receipt don't 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 confuse it with, with receipt receipt is um receipt is uh what's it called um recibo okay uh, or factura uh -huh, recibo mostly okay so just be careful um all right let's um let's continue okay i'm going to be spinning again the wheel here we go and the winner is glenda okay teacher <laughs> The recipe of today is hot cakes. Hot cakes recipe. The first, let me see. We need a, the ingredients, eggs, milk, butter, and let me see, let me see, <laughs> it's loading the recipe. Uh, do you have to mix? The ingredients, but then water is is milk. You have to add to the milk the eggs. Mix all. And you have to put pan, pan, pan. Aha, la cacerola. And you have to check if it's cooked. 
No, teacher, sorry. <laughs> you have to go for two sizes, both sizes. Size or size? size. Sorry, sorry, I'm a little nervous. It's okay, it's okay. Don't be, um, Lena, just relax. Just imagine, <laughs> imagine you're telling it to a friend. It's okay. It, it just, you're, you're just you telling a friend about a recipe you found on the internet you, you really liked and you want to try it. Okay, Oh, wow. Okay. Can, can we see it again? That was too fast. I, I, I didn't even get a chance to see it. Can, can we see it again? Sorry, teacher. Again. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Glenda, uh, you step one: combine uh, butter, flour, uh, sugar if you want, egg, vanilla, baking powder, powder, uh, baking soda, and salt if you want. Uh, all these ingredients in a bowl. The you have to. Heat uh, a lighty oil grilled over a medium low heat uh, about three minutes. Well, flip and cook until golden brown on the other side, three to five minutes, and repeat with remaining butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Round of applause. Excellent. Thank you. Thank very you. good, Glenda. Very, very good. Okay. Um, excellent. Very good job. Uh, just a few things I would recommend. Um, you, you remember you've got to, yeah, <laughs> very good. See, your classmates also think it was wonderful. Um, okay, so um, just a few things that, that I wanted to remember, it reminds you better said, is that you've got to use the first, then, after that, blah, 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 okay? So try to use that. And instead of saying, you have to blah, 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 you have to blah, 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 just say the verb, like for example, then mix blah, 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 blah. Then, or sorry, after that, um, open the blah, 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 et etc. et cetera, okay? So try, just, just instead of saying you have to, you have to, you have to, which sounds very repetitive, um, just use the, um, the sequent events, adverbs, and the frequency, okay? Sorry, and the, and the verb, sorry, and the verb. Okay, but other than that, very good, very, very good. Excellent, bravo. Okay, um, all right, um, let's continue. Um, okay, uh, okay, let me just add some people that have already joined our class. Um, okay, let's see. Okay. All right, I'm going to spin again. Here we go. The winner is Sarai. Okay, so Sarai, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm going to tell you my recipe is uh, chicken fajitas. <laughs> okay. Um, first, uh, the ingredients, uh, chicken breast, olive oil, salt, pepper, tomato, 
uh, red, uh, green and yellow chili pepper and onions. Okay, now the procedure. Um, first, uh, shove the onions, red, green and yellow chili peppers toma and tomatoes into julienne. Second, cook the chicken into julienne too. And then, uh, season uh, the chicken with salt and pepper. After that, pour the olive oil and fry the onions, green, uh, red, and chili peppers and tomato over high heat in a frying pan. And next, remove the vegetables from the pan. Then in the same pan, fry the chicken uh, until it's golden on both sides. After that, when ready, mix it, briefly cook vegetable and add salt if necessary. And finally, stir and enjoy your food. Thank you. <laughs> Bravo, very, very good. Excellent, Sarai. And very good use of um, the, of, of the um, adverbs uh, for, for sequence and also of the vocabulary. Very, very good. Very Thank good. you. Okay, all right, let's move on to the next person. Um, okay, let's spin here we go the winner is Josavet okay um for this recipe we only need four ingredients they are bushros eggs salt and pepper First, slide the mushrooms, then beat the eggs in a bowl. Next, add salt and pepper to the egg mixer. Um, after that, pour, pour the eggs into a frying pan and add the mushrooms and cook. Finally, fold the omelet in half and enjoy it. Your, our omelet is ready. All right, very good, excellent. All right, uh, again, very good use of the adverbs of sequence and also uh, very good use of all the, all the verbs. Um, so you did it very, very good. Excellent, let me give you an applause. Very, very good, okay. Okay, let's move on to the next person. All right. Okay, and our winner is Jenny. Good evening. My recipe is about lasagna. We need lasagna pasta, pasta, cheese, uh, mozzarella cheese, yellow cheese, and quesillo, meat or chicken, garlic, salt, butter, and sauce. Uh, first, boil the pasta in water with salt and garlic. After that, meat or chicken is prepared and cooked. Next is to have three types of with cheese and mix mozzarella cheese, yellow cheese, and quesillo. Then put the pasta slide on a tray and add the meat and cheese, but layer and don't forget add Italian salt. Finally, put in the oven for 30 minutes and that's it, easy my recipe. Very good, round of applause, excellent. Very, very good, bravo. 
Okay, yes, excellent. Let's give her clap. Yes, excellent. Very good, Jenny. Okay. Uh, all right, you also had very good command of the um, the adverbs of sequence as well as the, um, the vocabulary as well. Very good, yeah. Okay, excellent. Let's move on. Let's go on to the next person. And the winner is Esther. Good evening. Good evening. My, my recipe is crispy fingers. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, what what did you say was the the name of the recipe? Uh, crispy fish fingers. Crispy fish. What? Uh, this should take about forty five minutes. No, no, so, sorry, I said, I just wanted oil. to know the name. One the name. egg, the name is, a slice of is... old bread, tablespoon polenta, three tablespoon plain flour, pinch paprika, one white fish fillet, skin and bones, half lemon or lemon juice. Method. First, weigh and measure the ingredients. After that, grate the bread into breadcrumbs and put this into a bowl. Add the polenta and black pepper to the bread germ. Mix together with the spoon. Next, put the plain flour and a pinch of paprika into another bowl and mix. Place some baking paper onto a baking day tray and brush with vegetable oil. Put the fish fillet into strips about three centimeters while using the scissors. Squeeze the lemon juice all over the fish pieces. Break the egg into another bowl and mix it well with the fork. Arrange the three mixing bowls in order and turn and roll each fish strip in the floor bowl. Then the egg bowl and finally the polenta mix bowl. Put the fish on the oil baking paper. Put the fish in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. And finally, serve with fresh vegetables. Okay, bravo. Excellent. Very, very good, Esther. Bravo. Very good. Okay. Um, it, yeah, I, I think also. A uh, very good command of the of the uh, the sequency adverbs, and also you were able to um, uh, what's it called um, use the the verbs in the correct form. Yes, uh, that's excellent. Very very good. Okay, all right. Let's um, um, guys re remember if you have a picture there of the recipe that would be even better so that we can visualize it right so it's it's always a great way to open someone's appetite is through visual aids right so try to do that as much as possible okay okay let's move on let's see who will be our next presenter here we go and the winner is Kelly. Good night. Good evening, Kelly. Um, I am going to talk about my recipe. And uh, is lemon and cut case. The ingredient is one lemon cake mix. One large post vanilla pudding and one sour cream and one middle water for each one centimeter 
uh, vegetable oil, lemon extract for frosting, and lemons to talk. Okay, sorry, uh, Kelly, I'm going to interrupt you for a moment there. What what did you, can you repeat about the 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 oil? One centimeter. One centimeter. What is a centimeter? Um, I don't know how they say in English. What? Okay, you're talking about oil. Yes, vegetable oil. Okay, if you're if you are talking about oil, oil is a liquid, so we can't we can't even measure oil with centimeters. Um, it would we would have to measure it with. Um, it would be milliliters or ounces or teaspoons. Okay. You want to try it again? Sorry, sorry. The instruction and first Preheat oven to thirty. Sorry, to three hundred fifty degrees, and then condense case mix, pudding mix, or cream, water, ash, and oil. Next, spawn butter into twenty-four line cookies tin. And then bake for 18, 20 minutes. And finally, talk with lemon, butter, cream, frosting, and a slice of lemon. Lemon. Okay, very good. Bravo, Kelly. Very, very good. Okay, excellent. Bravo. Let's give Kelly there uh, some hands up. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Let's move on. Uh, the next one will be and the winner, the winner is Maximiliano. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me, right? Yes. yes, we can hear you, Maximilian. Okay, thank you. My receipt is a little short. Uh, I call it making a sandwich of Tony. Is correct, Tony? A tune in English? Oh, uh, no, that's a tuna. 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 Okay, thank you. I'm gonna. Okay. Okay, thank you. Making a sandwich of tuna. First, buy box bread one cup of tuna in oil, onion, coriander, and one cup of cream chips. Corinding in Spanish is something like cilantro, is correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cor you can say coriander, or you can also keep it as simply cilantro. The, the, two, are, okay. the, the two forms are possible. Okay, thank you. Then chop the onion and coriander into small pieces. Next, mix the tuna, the small pieces of onion and coriander in a recipe. After that, spread two slices of bread with cream cheese. Finally, put the mix into two slices of bread and enjoy it with a cup of coffee. It's better if you share with some people. Just that, it's a little short. Short but sweet. Very good. Very, very good. Excellent. Thank you for listening. Bravo. Bravo. Okay. Very good. Just remember that um, uh, when you are saying, usually we use um, the adjective at the beginning. In this case, 
the adjective is tuna, right? So it'd be tuna sandwich, not, not a tuna, not a sandwich of tuna, but instead a tuna sandwich. But, but very good. Excellent. Very good, Maximiliano. Thank you a lot. You're welcome a lot. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Next person. Okay, the next person is not here because I think he disconnected. So in that case, uh, we'll just have to move on. And when he, if he connects back again, we'll, we'll, we'll include him. Okay, so we're going to, again, And the winner is Flor. And Flor is also not here. Okay. All right. So I guess I guess I guess they they had some internet problems. All right. So well, when they connect, we'll we'll have them back again. All right. Let's try it again. Okay. The same person. <laughs> yes, uh, the, it says here Godofredo, but he's not he's not in the class right now. But I think it, he really the 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 program really wants him to pass. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh my goodness! Like again, there's some. Yeah, la tercera la vencida, dicen, right? Okay, oh, I see. And the winner is Juan Carlos. Okay, yay! <laughs> My recipe is ingredients is are sorry is tomato, water, onion, garlic, um, spinach, spinach or spinach. Um, yeah, you said it correct the first time. Spinach. Spinach. Okay. Fish. Um, salt. Uh, it's all. Is uh, fish soup. Soup. Fish soup. Fish soup. First, put a container with water. Next, add tomatoes, onions, and garlic. Garlic wash, wash, wash. Machacados, wash. And you mean smashed? Smash, stop, smashed. Uh, watch TV five minutes. <laughs> oh, wait five minutes. Sorry, I I used to do it. <laughs> uh, after that, uh, pour the ingredients. And why five minutes more? Uh, then I add spinach and condiment. Uh, wait, wait, five, eight, eight minutes. Next, uh, put the fish and add salt to taste. Finally, mix all. Wait five, uh, five minutes and serve it. Don't forget. Uh, enjoy your face. All right, bravo. Very good, Juan Carlos. Excellent. Very good. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes, fish soup. Or um, <laughs> I just remembered right now I saw on I saw on um, a, in, in Facebook there was a picture uh, in the supermarket. They had labeled fish soup in Spanish, right? In Spanish, it's um, sopa de pescado right? but in the supermarket they had eliminated the s so it's not sopa de pescado but it was sopa de pecado right so so it just something that yeah it was um you know i like it's a typo but you know it just makes it really really funny 
you know we don't want to we don't want to be eating that kind of soup <laughs> okay so it's a good thing you were describing it in english okay <laughs> yeah. okay good let's uh continue with the next person And the next person is Roxana. Yeah, she's here. Okay. All right, Roxana, it's your turn. Hello, good evening. Um, uh, my, my recipes is about South of Chicken. South Chicken. Um, ingredients. Six pounds of chicken breast, one carrot, uh, one chayote fruit, a half pound of green beans, a pound of potatoes, a half pound of broccoli, cilantro spring, a celery, a, a chipling, espinach, salt, lemon, chicken sap, uh, water, green pepper, onion, sweet Seeds of garlic procedures. First step, I put the chicken meat with lemon five minutes and I remove the skin of chicken after I wash the meat. Then I put the chicken meat in a medium pot for boil approximately uh, 15 minutes and add the, I adding onion, uh, green pepper and, and garlic. Next, I peel all the vegetables and I cut in little pieces. Uh, after that, I add the vegetables and I put salt, chicken sap, um, and continue boiling 15 minutes more. When to last five minutes for finish the boiling time, I add all kinds of flavoring vegetables, such as uh, cilantro, celery, chipiling, and espinach. Finally, the chicken sap is ready in order to serve it in the bowl for all my family. Uh, thank you. Yay, very good. That's, yeah, I love it. It looks very delicious. Very, and very I delicious. carry the, yes. the images for the chicken sap. Yes, it looks very appetizing. And <laughs> I, I just loved um, Sarai's reaction uh, when you were you, when you were um, presenting Sarai's like reaction was like the oh, wow. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <I agree. laughs> very good. Excellent. OK, excellent. Excellent. OK, okay so <laughs> yes, yes, I think Sarai loves that kind of soup, right? <laughs> That's what yes. it looks like. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next person. Oh, me sigue haciendo algo de Alfredo, pero no está. Okay, let's continue. I think I'm going to remove him because he's not here. Okay. All right, Nancy, the winner is Nancy. Is she there? Yes, she is. Okay. Hello, teacher. My recipe is how to make a sandwich. First, grab two slices of your favorite bread. Let's spread mayo evenly on each slice of bread. Then add what you like the most, such as cucumber, lettuce, tomato, ham, and cheese. On top of one, the bread slice. It's uh, Nancy, the, your microphone is off. Uh, sorry, this year. And my, okay. my recipe is how to make a sandwich. 
first grab to a slice or your favorite bread, let's spread mayo evenly on each slice of bread. Then add what you like the most, such as cucumber, lettuce, tomatoes, ham, and cheese, on top of one the bread slice. Only this this year. Okay, all right, very good, bravo, excellent. Very good, and let me give you that pause. Very, very good, okay, excellent. Okay, let's see. All right, let's uh, see who's next. And it's Veronica. Is Veronica here? Yes, she is. Okay, go for it, Veronica. Hi. Good evening. My recipe is about uh, onion tang. Uh, ingredient: two carrot, two onion, six jalapeno, four bal four ounces vinegar, two tablespoons for oils. Instruction: Freeze put a pan with uh, oil over long. It's other that I'll be vegetable with salt and the vinegar. Level five minutes. Yeah. Finally, remove it from it. All right, very good. Bravo. Excellent. Okay, good. And also a very good command of the adverbs um, of sequence, right? And you were able to. Um, and to to put the verbs in the correct the, the verbs correctly too okay and i think that is everybody because the only two people that are left here on my uh, wheel picker is flor and escobar hernandez but they are not here yeah i don't see them okay so we're gonna so that's gonna be all for today okay excellent guys before we finish off um I'm going to throw this poll at you. Um, I'm going to launch a poll. I want you to um, to complete the poll. Please. Um, ahí les aparece un, ahorita un, una encuesta. Me la llenan, por favor. If the question is, which section have you completed already? So I want you to to mark the mark the the the. O sea, marquen la que la última que han hecho Entonces, yo sé que si, vale, si van en el 4 y obviamente ya hicieron el 1 y el 2 ¿verdad? just do the, the last one that you, that you have done ok I'm still waiting for one more person I have sent teacher, it's ok uh, I, I can't see who has sent it and who hasn't, but I can see that there's one person that hasn't sent me the answer. I'm so I'm waiting. I got 11 people to send me an answer, but one person hasn't. Okay. ¿Quién está teniendo problemas para mandarlo? I can see the, the inquest. Okay, Kelly. Um, the the survey should be where it says, you know, where it says recording at the top. You should be able to find it there. It's about the platform, teacher. Uh huh. This is in the platform. Okay. Yes. Okay, I send it. ¿Ya lo encontró, Kelly? No? No, teacher. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. We'll, 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 we'll see you next class. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, so I'm going to stop uh, the poll. 
and I'm going to share the results. These are the results. Um, so you can see that the majority of you have already finished the midterm, but you, um, some people uh, are still working on section four. Some people already have done section five. Some people have done the, the, the final exam, which is great. I'm happy to see that no one has is still in section th um, two, but I need you to, I, I should have everybody in section four right now because we, that's what we're completing section four. So just be careful guys. Um, this is, remember the last day of the week, tomorrow you don't have class. I need you to catch up. So that's gonna be your homework. I need you by Monday to have finished minimum section four that is your that is your job okay that's the homework to finish section four i want everybody to be on section five for next class and if not well you should be at least yeah you should be at least in section in section five starting section five okay um if you want you can go ahead and do the the final exam but i need everybody to finish section four okay that's your homework everybody Okay, guys, so that's it. That will be all for today. For today, It's been a pleasure seeing you guys again. And I hope you have a wonderful uh, weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Recharge your batteries. And I'll see you Monday, okay? Okay. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Monday. Thank you. See you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.